Hello guys, how's it going? 118GT here. So today I'm in Japan on holiday and I thought it'd be quite cool to do some car stuff. So I'm actually in the Nissan Heritage Museum. As you can see, there are lots and lots of um, classic Nissans here. So this is a pretty amazing place. It's not very easy to get to. So it's supposed to take about one hour and a half to get here from, um, from Shinjuku, which is in Tokyo. Um, but we are we're very, very late here for the tour, so we're just checking out some of the cars here. So a really awesome place. There's uh, some really old school uh, Skylines here, and there's also a Datsun um, 240Z, um, which is uh, also really cool. So yeah, let's have a, let's have a look at some cars. So this is the second generation Nissan Skyline GTR presented in red. This is the one which came out before the R32 GTR. So this was, uh, I think, in 1973. So similar time to the Fairlay DC. There was only about uh, 200 of these uh, made. So if you could get one of import, it will easily fetch over 200 grand. Um, but amazing looking car anyway. So you might see a strange bloke walking around a lot in this video, there is. Um, so that's Michael, he's a really good mate of mine from university. We both decided to meet up for this little trip in Japan. Both of us really like cars, so which is why we made a visit. Anyway, back to this place. Um, so I'm not sure if you could get a sense of how big this place is in this video. It is really, really massive. Um, yeah, it is just huge. Really, really ha is a sight to be seen. And here's a R32 GTR looking really good. So we finally made it at the Nissan Heritage Museum. It was a bit of a ball ache getting here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So yeah. we were. Um, how, what did we do? We we went. We we went in Shinjuku. We just, we just kept on missing. We just yeah, kept on missing. We the kept stop missing the stop twice, and, and uh, we're just not we sure. didn't know how to get the taxi to get here. <laughs> yeah, it was just a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, it was and, rainy outside, and, yeah, and even when we were here, we we didn't know actually which building to get to. Yeah. So this place is actually very hard to get to. Um, so not recommended for first time. No, no, not definitely not. Definitely not. So oh, we're supposed to be here at ten thirty, and we're it's about eleven now. So yeah, that was a bit of a cock up. We were late, and we could have been better prepared. By no means, this place is easy to get to. But if you if you are thinking about visiting, um, here are some pointers. So first thing, um, register on a website. Yes, it, it is in Japanese. So use Google Translate or something to, and, and just pick a date. So once you uh, pick the date and you registered, um, you should get a confirmation email, which looks a little bit like this. And yes, again, it's uh, main, mostly in Japanese. Um, and then when you, and when you arrive in um, in Narita, when you're visiting Japan, you arrive at Narita, right? You at the station, you should see these kind of um, phone booths, which look a little bit like uh, the picture there on on number three there. So make sure you get yourself a data sim. Um, it, it it just it just it just proves invaluable when you're visiting in Japan, basically. Uh, make sure you have the name of the destination wherever you're going to written down. So in my case, you know, going to this uh, Nissan Heritage Museum, it, this is the, the address in Japanese. Make sure you have that with you. So, you know, and, and you could use that as a last resort if you need to use a cab or something. So the cabs look like a bit like this. They're usually these kind of Toyota Comfort, Toyota Crown, whatever they are. Um, 
and you should see a like a, a kind of two Chinese characters. That means basically it's an empty car. That means you could go for it and you could you could wave it wave it over, right? And and make sure you have that address ready so so you could take so the cab driver uh, can take you away where where you want. And then you know, nine times out of ten, um, he's not going to be able to speak uh, English either. So so make sure you're you're prepared for that. Um, and when you arrive at this uh, Nissan Heritage Museum, there's a very big Nissan building, very tall Nissan building. Uh, looks a bit like that. Um, and you arrive at the uh, reception. There's a barrier there, basically. Um, and, and the reception will, will call a bus to take you to the Heritage uh, Centre, which, which looks a bit like, like the below. It's, it's basically hall and it says uh, Nissan Heritage uh, collection um, so yeah um, you know make, make sure you have like an app like city mapper or Google Maps on your phone so you always know how to get from point A to point B uh, via public transport um, again um, you know I by no means I'm a travel expert I've been to Japan six times now I still find the uh, the underground um, in Japan a very very difficult place to navigate um, so yeah um, you know um, I hope you have better luck with this um, you know that this is basically what um, what a station looks like you know un unless you are local is is a bit overwhelming it's hard to tell exactly where you're going to be to be honest with you but just keep a head up uh, look for the line that you're that you need to get to where you go to. So in my case, it was the Adawara line. Um, so so look for wh whichever line that you need to get to, and and look for the destination as well, um, in English. So anyway, I hope that helps. If if you're looking to make this trip, um, it's it's uh, highly recommended. There's l there's lots of models here I never even heard of. Uh, Nissan Laurel. Yeah. Um, it's a really impressive collection of cars. Um, lots of cars in here. Very impressive collection of cars here. Um, Nissan Gazelle. So this is uh, where we get a lineup of some of the Nissan Silvias here. So this is a Nissan Silvia. Don't even know what this which version it is. It must be a very very early early model So this is the Nissan Silvia s12 came out in 1986 And this is the S13, which is actually, um, which is, this is the Nissan Silvia S13, which is actually in initial D, I believe. And it's in this, in this um, kind of greenish jade color as well. I found the Nissan Micro over there. All right. Yeah, 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 the Nissan Micro. Nissan Micro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go and the check classic, out the, the Nissan classic. Micro. The Japanese edition, of course. Probably looks better than a UK one. It's pretty much the same. <laughs> Is it? Okay, all right. But the, but the Japanese it. models of the equivalent what we get in UK is always yeah. more superior, though. Yeah, but this one doesn't have a max power sticker on it. No, <laughs> no, it does. Through, that's true. I can think of a lot of models which aren't here, though. You know that, right? It's not a complete, it's not a complete collection by any means. Mm -hmm. I can okay. think of a lot of models that aren't here. Like the more basic ones, you know, like yeah. But the these will be these all these will be JDMs, right? Yeah. They're all Japanese dom domestic markets, surely. And here we go. So a bit of a blast from a pass from the UK. 
this is the these are the Nissan Nissan Micro classic model so in here it's called the Nissan the JDM models are called the Nissan March this, this came out in 1994 this model so which one is the earlier that's, that, that's probably that way is the earlier one so 1993 that's the even earlier models Oh, this is the Nissan Pulsar, isn't it? The, yeah, yeah. This is really quick, isn't it, this one, yeah. this car? So that pretty much sums it up for this place. I could spend a lot more time there if I could. And this place is kind of nostalgic as well. It's reminded both Michael and myself of all the video games which you used to play growing up. Of course, there was the Nissan Figaro there, which was one of the first cars you get. And all the 50 different editions of the Skylines, which you get in the game as well. There was lots of other reminders like the, the Japanese anime which we used to watch uh, growing up. There was lots of references there to Initial D and Wangami Night and of course all the, the seeing the Nissan Micro as well uh, as a good throw back to the UK. They, these old school uh, Nissan Micros are nowhere near as they common as they used to be here in the UK. So unfortunately the tour only lasts between certain time slots, which we were late for. You can't walk around and, and roam, roam freely there as long as you like. So it's important that you get there on time. Fortunately the staff there, they were super nice. We were a bit late and we were also waiting for the cab to come and pick us up, leaving here as well. So this gentleman very kindly allowed us to spend a bit longer in there. So thank you Nissan. This tour is also free to go. Big thanks to the staff there who are being very patient and ordered a cab for us as well. And they also spoke good English, which helped a lot. So um, here are a few more shots of the car which stood out to me. Please hit that subscribe button. I hope you like this uh, video and I've got something special for you for the next one as well.
too late now. <laughs> now we've stuffed it all. Okay, I think we'll turn this way. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. I've got a uh, a Nissan kind of a uh, this thing a saloon, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. whatever. V thirty five. Yeah, or that. Yeah. I think that's a that's a kind of a skyline. It's kind of a skyline, it's like a, yeah. It's like a basic skyline. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, not tuned. All right, so you're going, mate. There you right, go. Okay, all so right. We're gonna get... Just try, let's try another one, shall we? All right, all right. You're going for the mini car with uh, extra goods, all right. So, which model are you after, Mike? I think the van, I think. The van, the, right, the van, the, van, <laughs> the M MB... Uh, it's, it's whatever, it's whatever kid... 350, it's MB 350. It's whatever yeah. kid dreams of when he's young. Yeah, well, maybe you get a Skyline if you're lucky. I'm hoping for the van. All right, all right. And it is the van. Oh, you got the van, <laughs> you got the van. Wow, nice work, nice work, mate. All right. It is the van. Look, open it, it up, open it up, let's, let's see if there's any good. And it is the van. I'll okay, go throw, throw the eggs in there as well. When I was young... Okay. When I was young, this is exactly what we wanted. I used to dream of these every night, you know? Yeah, yeah. You can get clear file. He's handed to the start, huh? You can get clear file. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Right. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, all right. All right. The dream that... car when I was young, all I used right. to dream about this. Okay. Right, was that worth it for three quid? <laughs> you know, it's quite. You know what? It's not bad. It's not bad. Thing, uh, yeah. It's a good memory, right? It's a good memory. The actual value of the toy itself is is probably zilch. No, no, no. It's like a, like a matchbox car, right? Like a, like a corgi car, like a, like a Hot Wheels car. Those they, are about three. Yeah, there's more die cast than the Hot, hot, hot Wheels. This is dark. This is dark. Is it? Right. This is dark. 